Hey, it's me. It's Coach Fulton. That's right, Coach of these Thai Wildcats. The greatest basketball team that's ever played the game. And I'll tell you, today it is a special day. It's a privilege, it's an honor for me to be here with you, my friends, at Heritage Christian Academy. Tonight is a big night because three months have gone into this production. All sorts of hard work, some sacrifice. I mean, from the director, from the music director, the choreographer, to the people making the sets, the sound, the lights, all the people that have given their time and their energy to make this happen, the cast and the crew. And now the curtain shall rise and out shall come my Wildcats. They will take that stage and they will be forever OG Wildcats. Because once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. So enjoy the show tonight. You guys deserve it. This is a special night. A night you will remember for the rest of your lives. So let's go team. Let's go Wildcats because we are all in this together. Now you get your head again. Did you at least do something fun over winter break? Oh, you know, my mom took me on a ski trip. All I did was read. <gasps> Excellent. Another bookworm. Oh, so I think Prada makes all that fabulous free ski wear. Loser. Actually, I did meet a guy. See? So make with the new swap, sister. I'm all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect. And I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing. He was pretty good too. Man, she, she was, was so hot, the slopes turned to slush. Yeah, so did Troy. Singing? Never felt the 
I'm Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High, with Homeroom 411 on what's going down and coming up this week. This Friday, we have the Science Decathlon Finals. See Taylor, learning curve McKessie from our skinny on the hooey. The Science Club will meet in room 213 today and switch midway with the AV Club in room 213 and then flip and alternate their schedule for the second half of the winter quarter. The Skydive Club will meet at 3 p.m. on the roof deck and the First Aid Club will be waiting for them in the parking lot below. That's all for now, peeps. Outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swooped. 
walk to the tragic ending for a happy one in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque. It's simply bursting, bursting with sword fights, meddling parents, and teenagers caught in the grip of forbidden love. If you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my gun. Now we'll have single auditions for the chorus and pairs auditions for our two leads. Uh, Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. So please save your balladio fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. Now, the drama club, as always, faces a dearth of male participants, so I beg you, please audition. I'm offering you to the chance to spread your wings into bold new horizons. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint, the magical power of the clean light. Fine, I'm offering you extra credit. <sighs> the dreaded cell phone symphony returns to our crucible of learning, I see. Sharpay and Ryan Evans, your phone, please. I will see you in detention. We have zero tolerance for phones here in class. Welcome to East High, Miss Montez. I'll see you in detention as well. Troy Bolton, I see your phone is involved. See you at detention. That's not even a possibility, Miss Darvis. Your Highness, sir. You see, me and Troy, we have bachelor practice after school. We, we can't miss it. Uh, that is 30 minutes for you, too, Mr. Danforth. Count them. That could be tougher, Chad, since he probably can't count that high. Oh, Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention before in my life. <laughs> well, happy new year. This ain't my first rodeo, kitties. Shall the carnage continue? <sighs> Saved by the bell. You can collect your phones after detention. Have a wonderful day. Attention, custodial staff. It appears a noxious freshman has just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major students, folks, so make sure to watch out for... Make sure to sign up for the High School Musical, Julia and Romeo, by Red Hot Composer Babe, Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High. I don't believe it. Me either, uh, but how? I just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here, too. I searched for you all over the lodge on New Year's Day, but... We had to leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Oh, um, well, I told my friends I went snowboarding. I didn't tell them about the whole singing thing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool. It was cool. Um, but my friends, that's... It's not what I do. That was, like, a different person. Pretty crazy, right? How we keep meeting up like this? Hey, I was gonna call you, like, a bunch of times, but... And? Oh, well, y you know, I... <laughs> you chickened out. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hey, now that you've met Darvis to derange, <laughs> I bet you can't wait to sign up for the musical. Oh, I won't be signing up for anything for a while. I just want to get to know the school, but if you signed up, I can consider coming to the show. <laughs> That's completely impossible. <laughs> I wouldn't even think impossible is in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new student around. Isn't Troy such a sweetheart? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. <laughs> Are we having lunch together today, Troy? Oh! <laughs> Sign ups for the musical. Sharpay. Oh, were you gonna sign up too? I'm sure we could find something for you. The old ugly nurse is lots of fun. <laughs> oh, no, no. I just was looking at the bulletin board. Wow, lots going on at this school. Nice penmanship. I miss you during vacation, Troy, so what you do? Uh, practice basketball, snowboarding, more basketball. I gotta go, practice and all. You're so dedicated, just like me. I hope you come see me in the musical, please. Maybe it's my hair. Well, Wildcats, it's request time again, and this one goes out from Vice Principal Vinny Ichiagua to the student who took the air out of his tires. Oh. Looks like we have another request that goes something like, Troy Bolton, get your butt to basketball practice on the double, or you're grinding for a week. Later, peeps. And remember,
remember, the chain is only as strong as the weakest link. But the going is tough. The tough gets going. I guess you guys already know that one. Okay, man, give me 10 minutes of weed drill, and that means it's impossible. Sorry, white coach. Uh, hey, you know that school musical thing? Pretty cool that Darvis is getting extra credit just for auditioning. Do you think LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their school musical? But you know, like the extra credit, it's good for college and all. You know what's better? A big, fat basketball scholarship. Ow! You're the team captain, Bolton. Put your head in the game. Man, your dad is tough. All right, let's kick it in. Run the shuffle drill. Set to fake right and break left. Watch for the pit and keep it now on defense. Gotta run, then get the go, take the ball in the hole. Don't be afraid, shoot the outside, Jay. Ah, uh, skip your head in the game. Ah, uh, skip your head in the game. And don't be afraid, shoot the outside, Jay. Ah, uh, just get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. So it seemed like you knew Troy Bolton. Not really, just asked him for directions. That's weird, he doesn't usually show the new students around. Oh, why not? It's basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he is such a bully. Always picking on the little kids. Mm, that's nice. And he's a meat eater with a flatulence problem. Yeah. Miss Tenney? Yes? Um, I I think it should be 10 to the negative 18th, that's all. 10 to the negative 18th power? That's quite impossible. Well, Miss Montez, I stand corrected. I'm very impressed. And welcome aboard. You know Troy spent a year in juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. Be gone, you have no power here. Whatever. Well, I'm impressed. You're a genius. 
thing is, please, it's just an equation. Ryan, it's me. I thought Miss Jarvis took your phone away. What? We always keep a spare just in case our agent calls. Look, our Science Decathlon team has a big regional match on Friday. We've never won it before, but with you on our side, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I think I'll pass for now. I just want to get acclimated to the new school and all. Well, promise you'll think about it. Promise. Troy Bolton was looking at our audition list. Again? He was hanging around that Montez hag this morning. They're both looking at the list. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah. It's like she has an extra brain or something. What's she doing looking at her musical? She's interested in Troy, barf boy. Now, I need to plant those printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP, okay? Yeah, no problemo, boss. Um, why am I doing that? Listen, there's no harm in making sure that Gabrielle is welcomed into school activities. Activities that keep her far away from Troy Bolton. Well, Wildcats, it's time to kiss today goodbye and point me towards detention. So, all you evildoers better get your butts to theater immediately or face the wrath of Darvis the Merciless. Now we thespians often use animals to help us build the characters we play. Be the bear, be the ostrich, be the monkey. Come on now, explore. Wait, Ryan, do you want to be an ostrich? Totally. Ryan? I mean, it's all right. Ostriches are cool, I guess. Uh, for Sharpay, maybe, but what about you? Me? <laughs> yes, unless you want to live your entire life in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. The answer is yes! Huh? I'm so glad you changed your mind about the science decathlon. With credentials like these, we'll win that title for sure. Where did these come from? Didn't you slip them in my locker? Of course not. Well, we'd love to have you on the team. We meet almost every after school. Please. I don't know. I mean, I have to get caught up on the curriculum here before I can even think about joining any clubs. What a great way to get caught up with the smartest kids in the school. What a generous offer, Taylor. We've never, ever won the science decathlon before. You could be our answered prayer. Okay, I, I guess, guess I can do it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, like... Quid pro quo? What do you know about, um, Troy Bolton? Troy? Um, I wouldn't consider myself an expert on that particular subspecies. Unless you speak cheerleader, as in, <gasps> is it Troy Bolton just a hottie superman? I guess I don't speak cheerleader. <laughs> Which is why we live in an alternative universe to Troy, the basketball boy. But have you ever tried to get to know him? Uh, he has his click, I have mine. You'll see how it works in the cafeteria when you eat lunch with us. Okay, but don't you think being in the musical could be fun? Like, even a little bit. You're a hoops dude, not a singing musical person. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about me, no way, dude. Well, good, because you can't expect the rest of us to focus on the big game if you're up dancing in leotards. Whoa, whoa, no one said anything about leotards. Not yet, but just you wait. Lovely work, all of you. No. Gather in a circle for our last little exposure to the magic that is theater. Oh, Jack, I never knew an earthworm could have such depth, such pain. All right. This is called Ball of Noise. The idea is to pass around an invisible ball while associating some sort of noise to go with it. Once passed, it can land on any part of the body, and there are no limits but those in your imagination. I will begin. Whoosh! Wah! Voop! Thou. Ow! <laughs> That's a Troy. Do whatever you feel. 
But you're only limited by your imagination. <laughs> oh no, it's too late. It should be! Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Where's my team, Darvis? What the heck are they two doing here? Uh, it's called Ball of Noise, Coach Bolton. I will teach detention my way, and you can teach yours your way, but they have to be exposed to the arts by any means necessary. May we have a word, and you two in the gym now. Don't forget your phones. This engine is over for today. It was an honor and a privilege watching you risk, risk, risk. Now, I expect to see some of you at auditions tomorrow. Please remember to be on time. All right, scoop now. Have a good day. Chad and Troy are my two star players. You can't have them acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They were not acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. If Chad and Troy were theater performers instead of athletes, would you seek preferential treatment for them then? I think not. Darvis, we are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of our winter musical auditions. The school is about more than just sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls from buckets. One, it's baskets. Two, the West High Knights have knocked us out of the playoffs for three years. Yes, and in spite of your consistent track record of defeat, the school board still seems fit to allocate ten times the amount of money to athletics than it does for the arts programs. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach those boys about having a goal about teamwork, something they can use as adults. Which is precisely what I'm trying to instill in them. How about make them scream at the top of their lungs? Dustin! Crackpot! <laughs> Hey, peeps! Welcome back to another train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will both start at tomorrow. Will start at 3 p.m. sharp. So ye very pursuited dudes better revet the yonder vocal cords. This is Jack Scott. Over and out in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>
theater you truly have. And now for the lead roles of Juliet and Romeo, we have... Only one pair signed up. Is that right? Well, Ryan Sharpay, show us yourself. What key? Oh, <laughs> that's all right. We had a rehearsal pianist make an arrangement. <laughs> Hard, I can jump down for you again. So good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't have to say a word. So long I was lost, so good to be found. I'm loving having you around. This feeling like no other. I want you to know. Support. I mean, you're auditioning, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm the one who used to all the attention, remember? You're scared, not me. I'm not afraid. R2. R2, 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 R2. Fine! Go prove it. Show them what you can do. Don't be scared. I'll be right here. I'd like to audition, Miss Jarvis. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear, but timing means everything in the world of theater. Oh, but I... The individual auditions are long over, and there's no one to sing with you for the lead parts. Miss Darvis? I mean... Oh, boy. Okay, I'll, I'll sing, sing with her. Uh... Troy Bolton? Where's your sport posse, or whatever it's called? Team. Um, but I'm here alone. Actually, to sing with her. Yes, well, I treat these auditions as seriously as your father treats his basketball practices, and, well, I called and you didn't respond, so I'm afraid you're out of time. Sorry, you're out of luck, Jack. Troy. Oh. Hey, 
You wrote that song that Ryan and Sharpe just sang? Uh-huh. And, and the whole show? Uh-huh. How long did that take you to write? About two years. I get up at five every day before school, and well, I'm still working on the finale. But that's amazing. You're really dedicated. So why are you afraid of Sharpe? I mean, it's your show. It is? Hello, thank you. I mean, the author of a musical is kind of like the playmaker in basketball, right? Playmaker? The one who makes everyone look good. Uh, without you, there's no, there's no show. I mean, it is your show, Kelsey. You're the playmaker here. I am? Well, do you want to hear how that song is supposed to sound? Sure. sure. Wow. That's really nice. It starts out quiet. Go ahead, you first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. Nice, keep going. You were always there beside me. Now you. Oh yeah. yeah. What? When? No way. 
attention to join the drama club. Like, come on. Someone needs to find the new girl the rules. Right. What are the rules again?
Wildcats, it's Jack Scott with a late-breaking Wildcat News Flash. Students have been spotted singing and dancing on tables in the school cafeteria. Clicks have gone mad in an unprecedented reaction to Troy Bolton's callback. One skater dude was even seen mixing in with the school band string section. Oh, the humanity, the humanity. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? I can't believe how crazy it got down there, and just because we got called back. Yeah, uh, th this is much better though, right? Much better. So, this is your private hideout. Thanks to the Horticulture Club, my buddies don't even know about it. Looks to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. Yeah, unless we lose. Must be tough, being the coach's son. My parents' friends are always saying, oh, your son's the basketball guy, you, you must be so proud. Maybe I don't want to be the basketball guy anymore, you know? Maybe I just want to be, I don't, I don't know, me. I saw the way you treated Kelsey at our audition the other day. Do your friends know that part of you? <laughs> Are you kidding? To them, I'm just a playmaker dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker? That's such an odd phrase. <laughs> How about Pythagorean theorem? That one's whack. I think you mean Pythagorean. Right? Totally whack. At my old school. I was known as the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was, always pointing at me, talking about me behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak and I hated it. And that's why I kind of want to keep a low profile here, you know, so I can just be me. Yeah, but, but you can't let the people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? Kinda? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. I'm much happier curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, know nothing about them, and then 10 seconds later, you're best friends because you do not have to be anything but yourself. Yeah. Singing with you felt like that, like, safe, you know? <laughs> well, I never thought about singing, but when I look at you, it's like anything's possible, you know? So you really want to do the callbacks? That's fine. I don't really want to do the callbacks either. I... No, I'm in. Really? Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. You're a cool guy, Troy, and not just for the reasons your friends might think. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna feel You never see it coming, suddenly it's real Oh, it never even crossed my mind That I could ever, ever hope to find someone like you Oh, 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 things change when you don't expect them to Oh, no Never even noticed that you've been here all along. I can't take my eyes off of you. I know you feel the same way too. I can't take my eyes off of you. All it took was one look for a dream come true. Got a good thing going on Right here is where we belong You never really know what you might find Now all I see is you and I You're everything I never knew that I've been looking for I can't take my eyes off of you Feelings like I never knew I can't take my eyes off of you
Now that Troy's gonna be in your show. Troy Bolton is not in my show. Oh, um, okay, well. I mean, is that the cake I made you? No, it doesn't go with my pants. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I was thinking, maybe like come see me play ball sometime. I'd rather suck the mucus from a dog's nostrils till its skull caves in! You know, that doesn't sound very appetizing. Or wouldn't you prefer a nice creme brulee? Maybe some tartufo? Tiramisu? Tiramisu? Why did I say tiramisu? No! That's gonna work? It's the only way to save Troy and Gabriella from themselves. Let me get this straight. What you're saying is the individual must be sacrificed for the good of the whole? That is so very Karl Marx. <laughs> Works for me. We'll get Troy in the locker room. You guys nag Gabrielle in the lab at exactly 1600 hours. Whatever. Just work him until Troy? he... Troy? <laughs> Believe me, I know how to push all his buttons. Remember, the line of communication is crucial to the successful deployment of this covert operation. I didn't know you could say that many syllables together in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. I was working on it all night. Um, my watch reads 1300 hours Mountain Standard Time. Are we all synchronized? Save it for Charlie's Angels, Chad. Au revoir, mon ami. I love it when you speak German. <laughs> Danke Shane. Jocks and brainiacs mingling in study hall? Yeah, the jocks were like most of the school. They get Troy in the show, then wow, they've conquered the entire student body. And if they get Gabriella hooked up with Troy Bolton, the science club goes from drool to cool. And Troy will be hers forever. Ryan, we need to save our show from people that don't know the difference between a Tony Award and a Tony Soprano. But how? Darbus, I have a plan. <gasps> Lucy. I'll tell Darbus that Troy and his dad want to sabotage callbacks because he got put in detention. But she'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. Uh, well, yeah, but the president's not supposed to lie, Sharpe. <laughs> And the vice president's supposed to zip it up and do what I tell him to do, okay? <laughs> now, come on. hustle already. What is wrong with you guys? The big game is the day after tomorrow. Where is your head at? In the, the game, game, coach. coach. In, the, In game. the game. And where is Bolton? That was an open question. I said... What? In all my years of theater, never have I encountered such childish, small-minded subterfuge! Boys, practice is over. Hit the showers now. All right, Bolton, cards on the table right now. 
Huh? Your pathetic male ego is all bent out of shape because I put your stars in detention, so now you're trying to get even. What are you talking about, Darbus? Don't play dumb with me, Bolton. I'm not playing. Some very reliable sources told me all about you and your little plan to humiliate me in the drama club. And I am telling you right now, it ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Save the speeches for the stage. If you and your all-star son are planning some kind of practical joke in my chapel of the arts? Troy, Troy doesn't sing. <sighs> well, I guess you don't even know your own son as well as you think you do. But I assure you, I will not allow Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. <laughs> Juliet and Romeo? <sighs> I knew it! Well, you leave me no choice. If Troy is really serious about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it because I will not allow either one of you to make fools out of the drama club. Hey, you don't need my help to do that. Oh. Sorry, I'm late, coach. And you. I'm sorry, I'm flying like a bird. What is wrong with you? Hi, Miss Darvis. I thought you were genuine, Troy. Wrong again, I guess. What was that about? You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? No, no, I mean, well, like, oh, you know. No, I don't know. Darvis had deranged to shoot my head off, but she thinks you're plotting something. No, no, I mean, like, I'm helping someone audition. That's all, it's nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you've forgotten, you have the biggest game of your life to make in two days. Set your head completely in the game, we won't win. Come on, something special, dude. I'm gonna stay and work my free throws. Since you were late for practice again, that's the least you can do. Wow, so this is your real stage. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Or just a smelly gym. Whoa, don't tell me you're good at hoops, too. Mm-hmm, I once scored 41 points in a league championship game. No way. Mm-hmm, the same day I created the iPod and the PlayStation. <sighs> okay. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know, me too, and I'm late for practice again, so if I get kicked off the team, it's on your conscience. Hey, I... Gabriella, chill. I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. Uh, but practice is over. Not until the last player leaves the gym, Bolton. Team rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriella Montez. Oh, your detention buddy. Gabriella, meet me doing the lab right away. Hip-hop, hooray! I gotta go, Troy. It was nice to meet you, Coach Bolton. Goodbye. Detention was my fault, not hers. You haven't missed practice in three years. That girl shows up and he missed twice. That girl's named Gabriella and she's very nice. Helping you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book and not in your team. She's not a problem, she's just a girl. And you're not just a guy! You are the team captain. What you do not only affects the team, but affects the entire school. Without you completely in the game, we won't win on Friday. And championship games don't come along every day. There's something special. A lot of things are special! If you blow this chance, you will regret it the rest of your life. You mean like you? <laughs> you are a playmaker, Bolton. Not a singer. Don't you think I could be both? And my name is Troy, Dad, not Bolton! <laughs> Legends won championships by worrying about some brainiac chick or auditioning for musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jocks or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so!
my dad. Is that Troy? Heartbreak Bolton. Missed the last basket of the 1981 championships. Do it for him, Troy. Give him the championship he's always dreamed of. Heartbreak Bolton, another lost cause, bonehead, basketballist, moronist jock. But you, you're the future of civilization. You're next in the line. You're part of the chain. And now that we can make it, don't break it. That's what everyone says. From Frida Kahlo, Indira Gandhi, Rosa Parks, Amelia Earhart, to Gabriella Monte. Bolton, 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 Bolton. Now the pressure is way up high. and my guts into that game, then you don't know me at all. Yeah, we're counting on you. I thought you guys were my friends. Win together, lose together. We're counting on I'm you. I'm for the team. I've always been for the team. So don't let us down. How about what matters for me? You gotta come through. What do you want from me? We're counting on, counting on, counting on, counting on. Ah! I can't believe you guys. Is this what you want to hear? Singing means nothing to me. Gabriella means nothing to me. I'll forget her, forget the championship, and I'll go get I'll go get our championship. Everyone happy now? Troy, Troy Bolton. Um I think it's for you. Gabriella, what's going what's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You got your team and now I've got mine. I'll go win the decathlon. You go win your championship. It's where we belong. Go Wildcats! But Gabriella, I don't want me to! Me either. Goodbye. So um, Gabriella, you wanna grab a coke or something? No. Huh. Okay. See you later. Hey, Troy, you wanna go grab some lunch? I made a really outstanding foie gras tartlet. It's funny when you find yourself looking from the outside. I'm standing here, but all I want is to be over there. And why did I let myself believe that miracles could happen? Cause now I'm having to pretend that I don't really care. I thought you were my fairy tale, my dream when I'm not sleeping. I wish upon a star that's coming.
I know, I know. We'll get it anyway. Okay. a good jazz square. It's a classic. Besides, why do we always have to do what you want? Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Now just do what I tell you to do. I'm not taking any chances. That role is mine, and I was born to play it. Somebody in this room ought to chill out, sister. And it ain't me. We'll get the roles we want. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what I am? I'm the star. <laughs> And if they take that away from me, then who am I? Oh, well, you could just be Sharpay. That's not so bad, right? Are you brain dead? No one's gonna like me if I'm just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be Annie Oakley. I can be anyone who I want to be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need something to make me fabulous, Ryan. I mean, they name me after a flabby dog. Sharpay, we've had the leads every year since birth. If we get it again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. Besides, it could be worse. Um, they could have named you Pug but or Shih Tzu or Troy like Troy and that that thing. Maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Pardon me, Doctor Phil, but what you know? You're just a kid. Oh, I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Eight important minutes. <sighs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't know you guys were in here. Hi. Did you come in here to ask me to audition with you and switch partners? <laughs> the answer, yes. Ryan, you're fired. Sure, pay. Uh, no. Have you seen Gabriella? I, I've really got to talk to her. Who? Oh, forget it. <laughs> mm. Hey, last time I saw her, she was in the theater. Like, uh, well, I don't know, about 10 minutes ago. Thanks, Ryan. You were right. <laughs> How could you stab me in the back like that, helping the enemy? Oh, I stabbed you in the back. <laughs> I'm so glad that you admit it, so let's take it from the top <laughs> and lose those jazz squares. Gabrielle, you have to listen to me. Those things you heard yesterday, it's not true. I didn't mean a word. I don't know. He sounded pretty convincing to me. But then you didn't hear the whole thing. I, I was sick of my friends writing me about singing with you. I, I told them things I knew would shut them up. Gabrielle, the guy you met on vacation is way more me than the guy who said those stupid things. Troy, you said it yourself. This whole singing thing is driving the school crazy. Everybody's treating you differently because of it. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be the basketball guy anymore, Gabriella. When I look at you, I know I can be anyone I want to be because you don't put these, like, limits on me, you know? But your dad... This isn't about my dad. This is about me. About how I feel. And I'm not letting the team down. They let me down. I'm gonna sing. Are you? 
I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something new. next week but we still have a lot of work to do yeah first we gotta go talk to our friends we gotta tell them we're doing the callbacks after all well let's move it already we're burning daylight I feel like so demoratorious about what we did yeah me too, I think. What are we gonna do now? Guys, we have something we wanna tell you. No, us first. No, this is important. Troy and I have decided that. Uh, what Gabriella means is that. Yeah? What? Hey, all you crazy wildcats. Just one more reminder that the science decathlon and basketball championship game will both start tomorrow at 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby. Come on out and support your we have a late-breaking Wildcat news flash. The callbacks for Julia and Romeo have been moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Well, wait, Ms. Darvis, you can't do that. That's the same time as... Sorry, Troy. This is Jack Scott, over and out. What? what? How can they do this? It's not fair. How can you be in the science decathlon? And win the big game. And audition for my show. We, we can't. can't. Well... It's clear now, you have no choice. There's only one thing you guys can do. Yeah, I know. Maybe next year, right? Audition for the musical! What, guys, what about the team? I thought you wanted me to win the decathlon. So we come in second, that's no disgrace. Troy, we're teammates, that's what we're all about. Even if you turn out to be the worst singer in the world... Which you might be! Well, because we haven't actually heard you sing. Oh, he's fantastic. They both are. What we did was so wrong. We just want you guys to know that we'll all be cheering for you. In spirit, anyway. Yeah, Troy. If singing's what you want to do, we should be boosting you up, not tearing you down. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see you were always there beside me. Oh, <laughs> hi, Troy. Good luck at the big game. And, uh, Gabriella, so sorry about the callbacks. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, me and Gabriella have made our decision. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Me too, fellas. It's just a musical anyway. Just a musical? You know what he means. We can't be selfish. Not when our friends depend on us. Right, Troy? Right. But, but you, you can't. can't! But we can. 
See you later, guys. Come on, Gabriella. We can't let them do this. Yeah, a dream deferred and all that. We had to find a way for them to do both. All right, team huddle. Hey, you spoke jock. I'm good with foreign languages, remember? Down to the split second. Jack Scott can help us. He's announcing at the game. It's impossible. Leave it to me. I can do anything with my laptop. Go Wildcats! Yesterday, we all were on our own road. We didn't really know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That each of us brings something to the table to help the others grow. Now's a chance to take a new direction. To see through other eyes. To see through other eyes. To make a choice. To make a new connection. To win a bigger prize. We're all in this together. Once we know that we are, we're all stars. And we see that we're all in this together. And it shows when we stand hand in hand. Make our dreams come true. We're all here and speaking out with one. events are starting immediately. The science decathlon is in the second floor lab. The callbacks for Juliet and Romeo are in the theater. And the basketball championship game is in the gym. Wildcats rule, baby! And the game is about to begin as the red-hot East High Wildcats take the court, led by team captain Troy Bolton. Ladies and gentlemen, let the callbacks begin! You will have exactly five minutes to solve this equation. Ready? Set, and... I believe in dreaming, shooting for the stars. Baby, to be number one, you've got to raise the bar. Valences and chemical bonding. You can do these in your sleep, Gabriella. No coaching from the sidelines, Miss McKessie. And Troy wins the take back. Work our tails off every day. Gotta bump the comedy 
have malfunctioned until we fix them or pay the electrical bills. Please make an orderly exit from the gym and head straight to the theater immediately. Hurry! Troy, hurry up. You have about five minutes. What are you guys talking about? You wanted to sing? Well, it's now or never. It was Taylor's idea. Oh, you guys are the best! We know, we know. Now go, dude, hurry! Just take a seat in the school's theater until we figure out exactly what's going on with the lights and then we'll continue the match. Gabriella, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? You don't have much time. My system can only hack the system's electrical grid for about five minutes. You did this? Buy me a Coke after you get the lead. Run! Ryan and Sharpay Evans, well done. You were amazing. Now, our next ones up are Gabriella Montez and Troy Fulton. Gabriella? Troy? Well, Sharpay, it would seem you're right. See? Unfortunately, I do. But Miss Darvis, you have to give them a chance. They've been practicing all week, and they're really, really good. What you're always talking about, like reaching for the stars, that's what they're doing. Please, just two more minutes. I'll, I'll go look for them. I I'm sorry, Kelsey, but our lives are defined by the choices we make. Troy and Gabriella have clearly chosen not to audition. Well, congrats to all. The cast list will be posted. Miss Darvis, Miss Darvis, we're here. We're here. Uh, where were you? I called for you twice. Please, just this once. Rules are rules, Miss Montez. Please, give us a chance, Miss Darvis. A chance for what? For you to make a joke out of something that means the world to me and your fellow classmates who came to audition? It's not a joke. I came here because I wanted to give it my best shot. Please, we don't have much longer before the lights turn back on. What's this? A full house? <laughs> As president of the drama club, I'm gonna have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment here. Those are your words, not mine. Miss Darvis, wait. Troy wasn't trying to screw up the auditions. Sharpay lied to you. She didn't want to lose the part. Shut up. <laughs> what? Is he telling the truth? Did you abuse your presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie, I improvised a little. Uh, we'll talk about this later, but for now, off the stage! But I- Off the stage! It's all yours, Miss Darvis. Come on. Thank you. Troy and Gabriella, you may begin your callback. Uh, but we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music. Oh, no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvis. You really don't want to do that. Yes, I really do. Ready on stage? Now that's showbiz! <laughs> I can't do it, Troy. It was so much easier when it was just you and me. Then pretend it's just you and me. Like kindergarten, remember? I'm right here. We're 
We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. If we're trying, so we're breaking free. You know the world can see. I was? I guess I was so busy focused on what I want for you, maybe I'd miss on what you want for yourself. You can be anything you want, okay? Son? Okay, Dad. Now let's go win that championship! Also, I wonder where he gets it from. We're so big. Where does he get it from? Hey, what about your team? We won too. Troy, team gave me the gate ball. So, are you going with me to the after party? Like on a date? I guess it's your lucky day. Or yours. Hey. I really dig your music, babe. I really like your voice. Really? You really like it? Go on. Tell her. <laughs> all right. All right already. Congratulations, Gabriella. And? And I'm sorry about lying to Darvis about you and Troy. All's well that ends well, right? 
Looks like I'll be playing the nurse, unless you can't go on, so break a leg. <laughs> what? Hey, in the theater, that means good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Sharpay. <laughs> Don't mention it to anyone. Ever. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sharpay! You know, I'm really sorry I didn't get the lead. Join the club. But I still think you're fantastic. Really? Like, really, really? Like, really, 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 really. So where's that creme brulee you promised me? Just like kindergarten. Only better.
gentlemen, let's give it up for the Heritage Christian Academy Fine Arts Department High School Musical. Awesome. Did you all enjoy yourselves? I love that. Hey, Levi, we only have, oh, two to get down. Good job, buddy. Um, if we have not met, my name is Octavius Womack, Mr. O. I'm the Director of Fine Arts here at HCA, and I had the privilege of um, directing these wonderful kiddos for the last three months. They have been working very hard alongside our co-director, Ms. Star Peterson. I think she's right there, yep. And I know some of you say, what made you do this in a gym? Now, we normally rent out a theater down the road, and we also have a nice um, theater here as well. But um, when 
we had our annual fundraiser, and with that annual fundraiser, a lot of things were um, allocated to different pillars of HCA. And one of those pillars were the fine arts. And everything that you see here, minus the lights, were purchased through that annual fund. So I was like, oh, this would be really cool. It's high school musical. What can I do different to um, be more refreshing? So I was like, how about a theater in around in, in the gymnasium, stripped down, all the sets, because we always worry about the sets. We spend all this money on sets, but what about going to where it started and focus on the singing, the choreography, and the acting, and not lose anything behind that. So, this is what we came up with, and, and I presented this to everyone that was like, okay, let's do it. And we're like, how are we gonna make it happen? And I must say, this was the first show that I was actually nervous to do, and I was talking to Miss Peterson about it, and I said, it's either gonna be really good or really bad, but guess what? You guys did an amazing job, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, fine arts um, is an important thing to me because I'm a testimony of um, the fine arts saved my life because I was walking down the wrong paths in life when I was younger, and I had one professor in college who said the one word. She said, it's up to you. I believe in you. You have to get out of your own way, and she gifted me a flight to New York. I saw my first Broadway show, which was Phantom of the Opera. And from that moment, I said, I want to sing, I want to dance and entertain and make people happy through the arts for the rest of my life. And this is it. This is what I've been doing. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So continue to support the arts because it's an amazing thing that we all love. Let me get my phone. Of course, in order to do this, it takes a village. It takes a village. We've been working for the last three months. Um, you know, we'll be three weeks on, give them a week off, three weeks on, a week off, so they don't hate me later. And it's been awesome. But I want to give a few thank yous. First, I would like, like to thank all the parent volunteers for everything that you've done. Um, thank you. Give them a round of applause, yes. Um, Coming up here, helping serve dinner, concession selling tickets, chaperoning, helping clean and all that great stuff. Thank you because we cannot do what it is that we love to do without, without you. Um, to the parents of the cast of these wonderful kids, thank you for trusting myself and Ms. Peterson with your kiddos for the last three months. I know we have asked a lot of you, but you showed up and you showed out and I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of HCA for trusting us with this process. You are amazing. Um, I would like to thank Mrs. Howard for making these wonderful letters you see on the wall and the banners, the EHS and all that good stuff. I said, Ms. Howard, I wanna convert the gymnasium. I wanna turn HCA gymnasium into East High. She said, let me get some, buy me some tape. I was like, okay, and that's everything she did with this tape. I was like, I love it. Um, I wanna thank Mrs. Nelson for creating these awesome headshots for the students that you see on the walls. Um, a cool thing, after the shows, they're gonna be able to take that home and we're gonna sign them and all that good stuff is gonna be awesome. Mr. McNellis, who built these, um, the, the towers that you see on the side. Anytime we do a show, I call Mr. McNellis, I say, this is what I need. He said, I got you. And he built all our sets. He volunteers time. And I said, hey, we have a giant projector that we can barely carry. We need something for it to sit on. He said, no problem. So he built that and built all this stuff. So thank you, Mr. McNellis, for everything. Um, could our backstage crew come out? Backstage crew, come on out. We have Elsa, we have Kylie, our stage manager. We have Amy, we have Adam, and we also have Olivia who was doing some stuff in the back. So thank you so much, guys. Um, I would like to thank Miss uh, Miss Flora over here, running spotlights over here. We have Miss Emmy on this side. And right behind me, our wonderful tech team, we have Mr. Ian, our lighting designer, and thank you. And we have Mr. Isaac, our sound engineer. We, throughout this time, I was like, in order to make this vision come to life, we have to get a creative team and some amazing choreographers and friends of mine 
um, said yes, Mr. Abby and Eric Paul, chore choreographers, and Miss Alyssa Jones, who lives here in Kansas, um, they stepped in and they worked with our kids for three weeks. And there's something different that we do. We do vocals for two weeks, and then we do dance intensive for three weeks, and then we block. And so they, they were just, just going for three weeks, teaching all the choreography. And I just want to say thank you to those guys for everything that they've done. Um, I want to thank our costume liaison, Miss Christy Christman, wherever you are. Everything you see, it was all her. She has a the she has an eye and she's done an amazing job and she just you know her daughter's in dance and she loves it and she creates shoes. She came in with uh Sharpay shoes with those bedazzled things on. She said, This took forever. I was like, Okay, but you enjoyed it. Great job. I love that. <laughs> of course I would like to thank Mrs. Peterson, because without her, I would not be able to do what it is that I do. She is a true blessing. Um, she is all over the place, an amazing gift that has come to HCA. So let's give it up to Ms. Peterson, guys. I would also like to thank Mr. Challey, our band teacher, and Mr. Parr, who took time to work with our wonderful kids with their vocals and all that good stuff to make them sound amazing. So thank you guys for everything that you've done. Um, I would like to, of course, thank, thank HCA for trusting us with this process. We took over the gym for a week. Um, I apologize to Mr. Mashik every day. He gives me a look every time we walk into the gym uh, because they have to go outside. But um, it's been awesome, so thank you, HCA for trusting us with this. Um, again, I can't thank you enough for everything that you guys have done. Could always continue to support the arts because I always say not everyone is gonna be a doctor, not everyone is gonna be a lawyer, but that one student might be the best dancer, the best singer, the best actor that you have ever seen in your life. So always support it because it's a very important tool that's gonna to carry us through forever and ever. No matter where you're from, no matter the color of your skin, we all dance to the same beat, no matter what. So with that said, I'm going to bring in the wonderful chaplain of HCA, Mr. Jason Parr, to pray us out. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, he already said great job, but I get to say it too. Uh, this is amazing. It's a wonderful thing. And uh, so let's pray. Father, it's good to come before you as a community of people gathered here in this gym uh, that's been transformed in this cool way. And the thing that I think is interesting as we watch the show tonight is that very few people, if any, in this room have not had the experience of being new at a school or being bullied at a school or being a bully at a school or any of the things that happened in the school system. And it's great seeing these kids sing and dance here, not only because of the show that joins them together, but also because they're brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. And we're so thankful that we all are in this together, not because of some uh, show or some team or anything else, but because we are united in the body of Christ. We're thankful for the work that you've done uh, in and through these students tonight and through Mr. O and all the hard work that he's put in and, and everybody else. And we ask that uh, you would help us to consider all the ways that these kids have pointed us to you in this, maybe this small way, um, and how they continue to through their lives. We ask that you would bless us as we go our separate ways tonight, and uh, we thank you again for everything that you've done in our midst. In Christ's name, amen. We're soaring, flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can reach. If we're trying, so we're breaking free. You know the world can see us in a way that's different from who we are. Even space between us, two or separate hearts. But your faith, it gives me strength, strength to believe.
Sky to reach for the highest star. 